Hey, there's, there's stuff there. Good luck. You can check it out. Stay tuned. Unscrewed. Next. Welcome to Unscrewed. I'm Laura Swisher, and tonight, well, you're in for a treat because you and I, we're gonna have dinner together and enjoy an entire half hour of dark tips. I'm having White Castle. Hey you guys, it's gonna be a dark tip extravaganza, but before we get started, here's some advice. Record the episode right now start recording because you're going to want to do these and you'll forget how and then we'll get confused emails from you that guess what we're not going to answer so push record all right this first tip caused our government to briefly declare kevin rose to be an enemy combatant a lot of data on my hard drive and sometimes I just don't have enough time to blow it up with thermite. Now you remember thermite, right? Oh, yeah. We, we have actually a little clip yeah. of the thermite. This is this is thermite in action. Check this out. Uh, thermite burns at 3,000 degrees and now uh, what that's going to do is create some molten iron and completely destroy your hard drive. Now that, that takes some time to set up. You know, right. you have to do all this wiring, you know, you're sitting there and you're surfing a little porn site and you hit the wrong switch and your whole computer goes up in flames. Right. Don't want to do that. Mm -mm. Good old thermite, a yeah. little too slow for me. So uh, take a look at uh, what I use now. Okay, you got your typical desktop PC, complete with your standard ID hard drive full of data you got to get rid of. How? Rockets. Rockets to launch your hard drive out of your PC. Sounds dangerous, right? Well, it kind of is, and uh, we did it. So we're out in the middle of nowhere, and I've got my hard drive, standard IDE hard drive, but this time we're wired up with 10 rocket boosters. Now what this is going to do is the second we slide this inside the case, you'll see I have a nice little guidance rail right here. This is going to slide inside your, your standard ATX computer case and be hooked up to this switch. The second I flip the switch, it's going to send this hard drive hopefully a couple hundred yards in that direction. So uh, let's hook it up and uh, run like hell. Kids, don't try that at home. Unless, of course, home is an Adobe bunker. Since we're on the subject of Adobe, what are some of the mistakes people can make with Adobe Photoshop? Let me think. Hmm. Oh yeah, remember, remember when Kat Schwartz accidentally posted nude pictures of herself on the web and became wildly popular, ultimately ending up on the Howard Stern Show and landing a gadget column with Stuff Magazine? Well, here's a tip that can help you avoid that terrible fate. Well, a friend of mine actually emailed me the picture. Right. And I had to verify it with my friend, so I sent about 60 or 70 of guys. Of course, you have to, right? Of course, it out there. <laughs> and uh, yes, it is true, they did verify it. And actually, what <laughs> does happen is it's actually a little tricky th uh, thing here. Let me show you. I actually took a picture of Marty. Check this out. Uh, this is uh, Marty and I took this picture. Um, and what I've done here is I've... I've cropped the image, and take a look at this here. This is the cropped image that we've done, just like Kat did. But right. what happens is, is when you save the image, it actually saves a thumbnail in what's called the EXIF info. The EXIF. The EXIF. So that's the thumbnail right there that's uh, stored in this information. Now, there's no way to get rid of that unless you manually strip it out, because if you crop it, it's still going to be there hidden behind the scenes. Now, a lot of other information is also stored. Check this out. It tells you the type of camera that it was shot with, the Nikon yeah. D100. All this information is hidden behind the scenes. So what happened is, when she put this cropped image up on her website, users were able to open this up in Photoshop and then view the thumbnail within Photoshop and actually see that image and then extract it out from there. Right. So what you have to do is just, this is a free application called Photo Studio. You open the image up and then you go into image here and then you go into thumbnail and you choose create inline and you click that right there and then click OK. And now if we scroll over here and click on the thumbnail, you'll notice that the thumbnail is the same as the original. And then we save that out to the hard drive and then no more nude picture of Marty. <laughs> And you got to make sure that uh, you got to make sure that you don't mix them up and accidentally post the original one, and then you're left in the same. Exactly, exactly. It's very important to get this free utility. Something worth downloading for sure. Okay, the sad thing is Howard Stern has not returned Marty's phone calls, even though he's completely willing to talk about his lesbian experiences. Hey, by the way, do you know where most first lesbian experiences take place? Intramural softball leagues and colleges across the country. You know what else takes place at colleges? Cheating. 
So here's a tip most likely to earn you an F if you get caught. This is a watch that has a laser built into the side of it. And so all you have to do is blind push the, the button here. No, not blind the teacher, huh. but what, what it's going to do is that there's kids that sit in the class and they will circle the correct answers. You give it to the smart right. kid, and you know how they always have writing around the room? Yeah. Well, they'll go in the number and then the answer, and then they'll be able to tell exactly. <laughs> it, it's been done, trust me. Uh, next one, Mentos, you normally know them, uh, them as the fresh maker, but in this case, the what we have maker. here, the test maker. Let's zoom in on that right there. You can actually see the test. Yeah, so what we did is we scanned in a Mentos label here, and this is Photoshop running. Uh, you know, you can use any type of graphic editing application right here. This is uh, the blue label, and we've typed in the answers right here, and then you just print them out, and then use a little bit of that uh, double-sided tape. I found it works really well. Right. Uh, and then you can just tape them right back on, and you know, teacher thinks you have some Mentos sitting on your desk, but secretly, all the answers are there. Study schmutty. All right, you guys, after the break, we're going to show you how to make beer drinking more fun than you could ever imagine. Yeah. Scion, featuring the all-new XA and XB, customized to your individual style. Robots don't kill people. When you trust them, you want to. Will Smith. I, a robot. Rated PG-13. July 16th. For years, there's only been one way to go for internet service. The same companies charging the same high prices, even as technology costs go down. Ready for something new? With PeoplePC Online, you get unlimited internet access for only $10.95 a month. With no banner ads on your welcome page. Go to peoplepc.com now to try our service free for 30 days and compare us with your current ISP. People PC Online has more local access numbers than AOL, plus a smart dialer that automatically chooses the fastest, most reliable number, so you always get the best connection. That's why so many of our members recommend us to family and friends. People PC Online gives you a better internet experience at a lower price. To compare us free for 30 days, visit peoplepc.com for a three-minute download of our easy-to-use software or call 1-800-748-7576. People PC Online, a better way to internet. Are you getting caught with unhealthy credit card debt as you try to balance your life? There is hope. There's 800 Credit Card Debt, an approved debt management company established to get you back on solid ground. 800 Credit Card Debt can eliminate penalties, reduce interest rates, and make your monthly payments smaller. Call right now for your free and confidential credit card debt analysis. Call in the next five minutes to see how fast you can get out of debt. Call 1-800-453-1306. <laughs> Robot Wars, next. It's up to you to choose which games win at this year's g 4 the award show for gamers. Go to g4techtv.com slash g 4 and decide who gets best game, character, soundtrack, and more. Press, vote, and make your voice heard. It's all part of g 4 presented by EB Games and Jeep. Welcome back to Unscrewed, I'm Laura Swisher and we're taking a trip back through your favorite dark tips. Next is the tip most likely to get you injured while drunk. 
Yeah. Well, we have uh, compressed air in here, and the PSI is pounds per square inch, and we got 100 PSI in here. It's going to shoot all of this compressed air to drive this piston out, much like you see on Robot Wars or something right. like that. We see the claw going down. Ah, uh, yeah, the same yeah, yeah. Robot you watch, Wars you watch technology. That Robot Wars. Now, how long did this take for you to put together? Uh, it should have taken about you know two, three hours, but it took us uh, two, three days. <laughs> we were test. A lot of testing had to be done. They so. were testing it till up until exactly now. So yeah. I'm not even sure it's going to work. But, I think uh, it's going to work. Should so. we test it out? Let's do it. Should I got, give it a try? got a nice little beer here. I'm going to put this. Oh, Marty, are you ready? Yeah, this is better work, man. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't have an athletic support on okay, here. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, there we right, go. That's great. Remember, if you're under 21, you can substitute soda for beer. Of course, you'll be considered cool if you drink soda, because cool kids drink alcohol and lie to their parents. And if they're really cool, they'll end up in jail. Before we go further, let's quickly revisit an extremely popular dart kit that generated hundreds of emails from people who couldn't figure out how to use it. Netbus, a program that lets you take control of your friend's PC without them knowing. Now I'm going to answer the top three questions now. One, where can I find the program? How do I find out what my friend's IP address is? Ask. Number three. How can I get my friends to activate the program? Well, you FTP or email them a fake ICQ patch by the name retail10.exe, which is actually a hidden Trojan executable of the Netbox 2.0 and an invisible and auto-starting mode, which also automatically deletes all server data collected by the CPU. Cleared up? I hope so. Moving on. Now, everybody knows that bad driving is something other people do, at least until Big Brother presents you with a surveillance camera snapshot of you running a red light. There are thousands of perfectly good reasons to run a red light. The only problem is that, well, city governments won't acknowledge any of them, even when you make it clear that you are really running late. Fret no more, folks, as this next start tip shows you how to trick the pesky red light cameras to avoid detection and hefty fines. I'll show you what we got going on today. If you don't know, they're installing the systems all over the states. They're the red light systems that actually take the picture when you run a red light. Yes. And then they actually mail it to you. Have you had, you've had this happen. I haven't had it happen. It's happened to friends. I've seen the pictures. Mm -hmm. But it's very disturbing. Well, how do the, how do the red lights work? Here's what happens. All. This is the most advanced uh, thing we could get here. We have these little cars here. Let's say a car is to enter the intersection here. Underneath this pad here, picture this. That is actually a metal detector. So the second this car crosses the intersection, it's going to be picked up and then a, a actual flash is yeah. going to go off. Like so. Big Brother's a <laughs> So they're going to take a flash just like that and they're going to take a flash actually of the driver and the front plate. So what you're going to want to do is somehow protect that plate, actually cover it up, make sure that, you know, they can actually get that image. How do we do that, Kevin? <laughs> Let me show you how. We've got a couple of products here. This actually is called the Phantom Plate Photo Shield Cover. And what it is, is it's a lens inside, actually this goes right over your plate just like that. And if you'll notice what happens is when we rotate this, you're actually, uh, you can't see too well, there we go. It's actually going to blur the actual plate number there. So that, that's pretty cool. So when you're driving through the intersection, that flash goes off and the, the, it actually captures that image. They're not going to be able to read the plate. They can't send you the ticket. It's like pixelated. Yeah. Also, we got another one too. This one's pretty cool too. Check this one out. This one uh, is called the Phantom Plate uh, Reflective Cover. And what happens here is uh, you'll notice, you can't even see the plate there. There's a bunch of little, what they, what they like to call the light reflecting crystals. Actually, it's, it's kind of like uh, it's some, some sparkly stuff that you get at the local little uh, you know, craft shop right. or something like that. You can probably make these at home for like two bucks. But anyway. Uh, just but to let you know, these two here are illegal in some states. I believe they're definitely illegal in California, so before you buy whatever state you're in, check out the law. But, yeah, but for California, <laughs> yes. you've got something for us that you're not recommending yourself. What yeah, is it? We have another uh, little product here. This is the photo blocker as seen on TV, uh, tested by the Denver Police Department on Fox News. And actually, the Denver Police said it's surprisingly effective. And uh, what this does is, uh, check this out. This is uh, actually, here's two, let me show you the before and after. This is the treated plate here. Notice how much glossier this plate is than the one next to it. It's kind of hard to see there, but it's actually like a lacquer. So what you can do is you can take this here and just spray this across the plate just like so. And it's going to create, uh, see, a nice, a nice little shiny finish on the outside there. And it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty nasty. You don't want to do it indoors. You don't want to do it indoors. Get cancer. <laughs> but uh, it's going to create a nice little shiny plate. And what's going to happen is that when the when the actual flash takes place, it's going to reflect that. So it's going to, you ever taken a digital camera, aimed it at a mirror, taken the flash in the mirror, and then you see like that, uh, you Have know. I ever? Yeah. <laughs> and you just get a flash, you're like, where am I? Exactly. And that's exactly what's going to happen on the plate. This is not illegal that we know of right now. All these products are available on the internet. We've got lots more dark tips after the break, including 
your all-time favorites. Stick around. Hi, Mary Beth Hoyt here for The Handy Stitch, the sewing solution for today that makes sewing fun, fast, and easy. The Handy Stitch uses the latest micro technology and actually fits in the palm of your hand. It does the jobs that conventional sewing machines can't, so you can sew anything, anywhere, at any time. It has the precision of a small machine to repair delicate fabrics like silk. It has the power of a big machine to sew through tough fabrics like denim. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, The Handy Stitch is for you. You can even do repairs while wearing your clothes. Repair a pocket without taking your pants off. Fix a fallen hem in the office in no time. Even use it for patching up outdoors. It's quick around corners and can add a decorative touch to all sorts of fabrics. You would never be able to sew draperies with a regular machine. The Handy Stitch is a portable sewing solution that makes life a little easier. It lets you put the professional touch on your home decorations and will pay for itself over and over. It gives you that genuine chain stitch, which means you get a secure, strong, and even stitch every time. It's battery powered or AC adaptable, so you can sew any fabric anywhere, anytime. Because of its compact size, it travels with you. The Handy Stitch can even be used outside to repair a flag or fix an awning. Regular machines are bulky and can cost over $500. Call now and you'll get the Handy Stitch complete with four threaded extra wide metal spools, the needle threader, and an extra spool pin for regular size thread. A $40 value for just $14.99. But call in the next five minutes and we'll also include this giant 64-piece thread and bobbin collection so you'll always have the right colored thread for any job. A $20 value, yours free. That means you get everything. The Handy Stitch, all the accessories, and the 64-piece thread and bobbin collection, an incredible $60 value, all for just $14.99. So call this number right now. Here's how to order. To order Handy Stitch, call 1-800-927-8822. That's 1-800-927-8822. So call 1-800-927-8822 and order today. In these times of too much credit card debt, are you getting caught trying to balance your credit card problems as you try to balance your life? The consequences are serious. But there is hope. There's 800 Credit Card Debt, an approved debt management company established to get you back on solid ground. If you have between $2,500 and $40,000 in credit card debt, then 800 Credit Card Debt can help eliminate credit card penalties, reduce interest rates, and make your monthly payments smaller. They negotiated my payments down substantially from $300 a month to $135. My interest rates on all four cards were between 22 to 29 percent. They lowered my interest rates to 4 to 11 percent. It went down from 20,000 to 18,000 to 16,000 to 15,000. At a much faster rate than I could have done myself. Call for your free and confidential credit card debt analysis. Call in the next five minutes to see how fast you can get out of debt. 1-800-453-1306. Welcome back to Unscrewed's Tribute to the Dark Pits. I'm Laura Swisher, your guide into the evil side of technology. Now here's a tip most likely to win you friends at the office. It's the stun glove. You can pick these up for about, uh, you know, four or five bucks. Yeah. And you take one apart and inside you'll see a bunch of circuitry here and a big capacitor. This capacitor is used to charge the flash. It's going to hold all the energy inside the capacitor. Now when it discharges, it shoots all of that power into, you know, ignite the flash. Right. So what I'm going to do is take this apart and mount it inside a small little case that you can buy at your local little radio hut. Mm -hmm. And you put one little battery inside there along with the components and then run the two wires out to the tip of the glove. And that's going to give you your homemade uh, taser right there. This is like... Makes sense? This is evil Michael Jackson right here. <laughs> Just beat it. So ah. here's what we do. We turn it on and then you're going to see it. You're going to hear it start charging. And then uh, once this starts flashing, like Just it's telling like you that your flash is ready. <laughs> now we're ready to shock someone the right now. The pain is ready. There we go. So now how, how do we test this out? Well, let's, let's try it on uh, just a standard piece of metal here first. Let's see what that does here. And um, there we go. So it's ready to go. So it's going to recharge here. And let's get, let's get Joey, let's our get intern. Joey. Come on out, Joey. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm ready for this. OK. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if the crowd is really ready to see it. I mean, they want to see me get stunned? <laughs> Give me some love. Yeah. Right. Joe, Joey's had a rough day. Uh, let's, let's bring the arm out here. Uh, now, are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> He's stoked. Okay, here we go. You ready? All right, let's All do right. it. I'm told One. I have to be behind him because he might buckle and poop himself. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
Oh, f me. <laughs> Was that really bad? <laughs> Question. What's more shocking than 600 volts to the arm? How about when your pee comes out red or green? Well, that's just what happened to two members of our staff when they crossed Joey the intern. Take a look. If someone ingests Ooh. this blue liquid, they will piss blue. If someone p drinks this liquid, they will piss red. Uh, coffee's a great thing to put this in because you can't even tell when you put it in there. I mean, it just blends right in. So I made a very special lunch. Did you happen to catch this, say, on video? I just happened to use technology Ow. to film this bathroom. So uh, why don't we go ahead and take a look at that beautiful fun thing. I can't believe Joey has peanut butter again for lunch. I know, man. I'm getting so sick of peanut butter. I wonder what happened to the lobster bisque he had last week. Oh, my... Oh, God! No, dude, my teeth is like... My teeth blood red, man! Oh, Christ, it burns! What the hell is that? Oh, my God! Lucky for them, there was a freak snowstorm in San Francisco that day, and they were able to have fun with their temporary condition. Now it's time to take a look at another type of, uh... Super soaker. You know, the ones that kids use to spray each other with water or in Kevin Rose's case, pepper spray. I'll, I'll let him show you. I wanted to create a nice little super soaker, this time filled with a little bit of pepper spray. Mm -hmm. But pepper spray, you know, <laughs> hear me out, hear me out. A little hard to get out of the container. Out of the container, right. You had to put it in, you get it in your eyes. Not a good idea. You can do, what you can do though, is take some peppers here. Uh, peppers are rated in, in the chemistry level at shoe ratings. A jalapeno is going to give you about 5,000 shoe. A uh, habanero, uh, 377,000. Pepper wow. spray, pepper spray normally about 350,000. So. We can take some uh, habaneros here, and what you're going to do is take a nice little knife out like this, and you, you chop these up, you know, get a nice little, uh, you know, even cuts like that, and just make them nice and chopped up. And you're going to add them right into here. This is uh, mm -hmm. uh, some ethanol uh, in here. Um, now, this, you get, at a, 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 you get this at a chemistry store. Don't eat that. You, you get this at a chemistry store. They might ask for permits and whatnot. Tell them it's for a school project. They'll normally let you have it or something like that. Uh, you want to heat this up. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Uh, don't drink this, though. It's going to boil off. The ethanol is going to boil off and create a nice little paste for you. You mix mm -hmm. in some mineral oil and some water, and you're going to add it to your stun gun. You're going to have one for each eye here. Uh -huh. Pepper spray stun gun. <laughs> That's, uh, that's a lot of fun. And this one's completely automatic. I like the motorized version. It's a lot easier. You don't have to do any pumping. Right. That's just me. You can pump it if you want. For the ladies, these are a little difficult, though, to put in your purse. So you might <laughs> want to right. get the traditional uh, the, kind. The last one here, this one here, is the uh, flamethrower. Yeah. Uh, what we've done is uh, we've hooked up some propane here. We can, we can turn it on here. I think it's pretty much illegal, though. To, we, we don't want to torch the studio or no, anything. No, we're not, not going to torch the studio. Okay. But uh, you hook that up. <laughs> And uh, then you point it like so, and uh, basically we fill this with alcohol. And uh, actually, I, I was a little scared about this one, you know. I, so we got Joey the intern to try it out. Uh, <laughs> let, let's take a look at uh, the footage there. So here he is uh, firing it up. That's my car. Yeah. <laughs> no, you there we go. There you go. So, nice little burst there. He almost actually catches himself on fire. The whole reason I didn't really want to do this. See, it's starting to leak. <laughs> Just to yeah, let you know, uh, one thing we did realize is you have to change the top to a metal top after the, because it just melted through, it was about to go back in on him. Uh, luckily, he wasn't. Now, is that uh, bad know, when the was, flame comes back at yeah, you? It, well, if it comes inside, it could potentially explode. Yeah, explode, explode pretty much. And we'd have to uh, find another intern. Do, do not try this at home. These are all very dangerous, uh, but uh, you know, I thought you should know about them. Let me point out that when your super soaker shoots out flames, it's no longer a toy. Again, don't try that at home. All right, everyone. Coming up, we've got your favorite dark tip of all time, and it involves a microwave, a sledgehammer, and liquid nitrogen. Yeah, <laughs> stick around. Flip it this summer. Rent as many games as you want. Flip it. For as long as you want. Play a game, then flip it for a new one. Flip it with the new Blockbuster Flip Card. Rent it, play it, flip it. 49 bucks is all you pay for three months of unlimited game. Game all summer for less than the price of the hottest new games. So get to Blockbuster now and flip it. Rent the hottest game today, like PsyOps, the Mind Gate Conspiracy. Play it, then flip it for Driver 3 at Blockbuster now.
BMW introduces the first seamless integration of iPod and automobile. The worst part was the pressure. Phone calls at home, phone calls at work, letters in the mail. It was nice to help. Since Debt Free works with thousands of creditors, we got his interest lowered and his penalties eliminated. Every day, thousands of people call Debt Free, a nonprofit organization. I was snapping at everyone, on edge all the time. I just didn't know how to deal with it. I think it was the first good news she'd heard in a long time. I explained everything Debt Free could do to help her, and uh, we figured out she could pay off her debts in five years and still have money left over every month. I wanted to do something. I just didn't know where to start. I showed her she could make just one monthly payment, and she didn't need to borrow money to do it. Stop running from debt. Call Debt Free today. I'm back to my old self. I'm glad I called Debt Free. I'm not snapping at people anymore. If you're overwhelmed by debt, gather your bills and call Debt Free now. I'm getting out of debt and I'm doing it myself. And I'm pretty proud of that. Come spend some quality time with Red Man and Method Man, yo. Go to ebgames.com slash vote or your local EB Games store to vote for the EB Gamers Choice Award and win a chance to go to G-Foria, the award show for gamers with Method Man and Red Man. Stars of the new show Method and Red, Wednesdays at 9.30 on Fox. And we promise we won't smack you around too much. Yeah, well, maybe just a little bit. For official rules, go to g4techtv.com slash meth and red. G-Foria is presented by EB Games and Jeep. Welcome back to the Unscrewed Dark Tip Tribute. I'm Laura Swisher, and guess what? We're finally here, ready to reveal your favorite dark tip, the best ways to destroy your data. Girlfriend's coming over, you know, you gotta get it with some data really fast right. or the feds are knocking on the door. <laughs> Throw it in the microwave. Yes, uh, if you only put it on for about 10 seconds, what's gonna happen is, is the microwave is gonna arc across the metallic surface destroying the data. Right. Um, actually, I found if you have the uh, popcorn setting, uh, it does nice little bursts. <laughs> Take a look inside here, inside the actual device, because you're gonna see it sparking right away. So, let's see, there we go, yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's, uh, and let's take a look inside. I think we just, uh, it's sm smoking a little bit. Um, Our cameraman's gonna pass out now. Yeah, so you can see the, a uh, little hot, actually, a little hot. <laughs> um, yeah, so that, uh, that's completely uh, destroyed the disc there. See, it's nice and, and broken up there. No data is coming off of that disc. And, now I have a, I, I don't have a microwave, I just have a stove top oven. What do I, does that, how uh, long? 350 for about 10 minutes, put it in, you'll be fine. All right, what else do we have? This um, looks Next scary. thing, this, this is what you gotta put the gloves on. This is the little uh, cancer causing agents here, just to let you know. Um, this here is actually some pool acid that we dip this drive in. Uh, muriatic acid. Muriatic acid, acid. Yeah. that's it. And actually we have some footage here. Let's, uh, let's show, this was dipping the drive in the acid. If you notice, once the sun hits, it's gonna start to boil a little bit here, and then, uh, this little time lapse here, it's gonna to start to fizz up a little bit. It's, just, it's eating away at the aluminum is what it's doing right now, destroying all the data on the disc. And just to let you know, those fumes, you're not gonna to wanna to breathe those in. You're not gonna to wanna, to those are How some pretty nasty take? films. How long did that take? What was the total time for uh, About two hours, and it's gonna eat away at the heads and completely destroy the data on the disc. And the vapors irritate the respiratory tract, so watch out, yeah, people. Yeah, not good, cancer-causing, stuff like that. Eh. Yeah, whatever. Next one is, uh, this one has been destroyed with some thermite that burns at 2,000 degrees Celsius. And that is basically, it's molten iron that, well, let, let's just take a look at the footage here. We actually, I set this up in my backyard, and uh, that's a pound of thermite. And the second you ignite it, there it goes, yeah. Now that, that's molten iron spraying oh. off of it. You want to step back for that one. Quick um, question, Kevin. What's your security deposit on that house? Yeah, neighbors, <laughs> neighbors are not going to be a big fan of this one. It does the job, but neighbors don't like it. Um, one, now we have a new one tonight, an experiment. This one we're going to do liquid nitrogen like they did in Terminator 2. So it's possible, this, you, we haven't done this before we ever. We haven't done this before ever. This may is, or may not work. Yes, let's, uh, let's just take this and move this table back a little bit here. Here we have some liquid nitrogen. You can pick this up at, well you can't really pick this up anywhere actually. You have to have permits and whatnot, but uh, <laughs> we, we got some of it here. Just toss this aside here, and you might want to. What's step. the temperature of liquid nitrogen, uh, by the way? It's like negative 197. Wow. So, uh, well, yeah, watch out there because it's going to burn your foot. I don't want my if shoe it, to if shatter. If it gets on your feet, it's going to freeze your toes, oh. and then if you try and move them, they break off. So, you don't want to get it on your feet. Um, let's go ahead and pull out one of the. Uh, I put in a couple of uh, bananas in there. Okay. Let's pull out. Let's you, get our you got goggles, your goggles on. Goggles there. on? Okay, good. All right, you put. Uh, pull that out. Set the that, yeah, there you go. Set that on the ground there. Uh, oh, oh yeah, you can, you can see it's pretty much uh, 
Oh. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much you can do it. Now pull out the hard drive. This one's been sitting here for a couple minutes, so we don't know if this is actually going to break the hard drive. We're not sure yet, but let's just give it a little. Oh. Yeah, it, it shatters. I don't know if that was so much a sledgehammer, but uh, it's, um, you can see it's, yeah, it was, a, it was an experiment. What are you going to do? There we have it. Your favorite unscrewed dart tips for Martin Sargent, Kevin Rose, Joey the Intern. I'm Laura Swisher. Thanks for watching, and remember, folks, always watch your back and never trust an intern. Stay tuned. Robot Wars.